San Francisco Archbishop Salvatore Cordillon has barred Nancy Pelosi from Holy Communion over her fanatical support for procured abortion. Other bishops have joined in their support of the San Francisco Archbishop, even extending the ban. Santa Rosa Bishop, Most Reverend Robert Vesa, in whose diocese Mrs. Pelosi is reported to have a summer home, said the ban applies in his jurisdiction as well. The new canon makes it clear that providing sacraments to someone prohibited from receiving them has its own possible penalties. The Archbishop Cordillon wrote, after numerous attempts to speak with Speaker Pelosi to help her understand the grave evil she is perpetrating, the scandal she is causing, and the danger to her own soul, I have determined that she is not to be admitted to Holy Communion. The Archbishop wrote to Pelosi, saying you are not to present yourself for Holy Communion, and, should you do so, you are not to be admitted to Holy Communion until such time as you— publicly repudiate your advocacy for the legitimacy of abortion and confess and receive absolution of this grave sin in the sacrament of penance. Pelosi responded to Archbishop Cordillon's ban saying she doesn't respect foisting pro-life views on others. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi questioned whether Archbishop Salvatore Cordillon was holding a double standard for banning her from communion for her position on abortion while keeping quiet about Republicans who support the death penalty, the California Democrat said Tuesday on MSNBC's Morning Joe. The California Democrat was witnessed attending the 9 a.m. Mass at Holy Trinity in the Georgetown neighborhood, where she took the Eucharist. Cordillon said that the speaker was not to present herself for the Eucharist in his San Francisco archdiocese because her abortion views have become more extreme and more aggressive. Bishop Joseph Strickland has stated that the Diocese of Tyler, Texas, will also ban pro-abortion and self-acclaimed Catholic Nancy Pelosi from Holy Communion. The concern for Mrs. Pelosi's eternal salvation extends to the Diocese of Tyler, Strickland tweeted. She is barred from communion here until she repents and stops advocating the murder of children, he added. Pray for her heart to be turned to God and away from the power of this world. Keep watching for Catholic news, prophecies, and much more coming up on the warnings of our time. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, share, and press the notifications button to get updates. Thanks to all the Super Thanks contributors, look for the Dollar Thanks button in description.